We are here at Valencia Golf and Country Club. Yeah, uh, north of Naples, about 30 minutes from downtown Naples. Uh, made the drive here this morning and seven o'clock tea time, so it's pretty early, kind of tired. Um, one of the first ones off, so. Um, so this course is playing at 70, 7,077 yards, almost 7,100 yards. So I'm gonna play it all the way from the backs. It's a par 72. And hopefully we can uh, hit some good shots out there, take some good videos and shoot a good number today. Valencia Golf Club, hole number one. Playing the back tees today. The hole appears to be 369 yards. Never been here before, so looks like it's pretty straight away. It's a short hole, so no need for driver, but probably hit it anyway. Why not? Well, I am faced with a 71 yard fairway bunker shot to start my round. Not the shot I was intending or expecting, but let's see if we can get this on the green and a chance for birdie. Well, the ball was sitting down a little bit in the bunker. Had to take my chances, play it back, and kind of punch it out. It's the hope. But came out heavy, so I got a little up and down I got to get here from you know, about, I don't know, 25 yards or so. Not too bad in the fairway. Fairway it lies pretty good. We'll see how it goes. All right, so pretty decent little chip. I got about eight feet up the hill here. Hopefully I can knock that in for par. Sorry I couldn't give you much video. At uh, tea time was at 7 a.m. And I got here at 6.45. They went ahead and sent my group out at 6.50. I didn't, didn't expect me to show up, I guess. So I had some guys kind of waiting on me on number one. So we'll get you some better videos as we move along on to number two. Oh, and I didn't make the putt, so one over. All right, so here's where you got to start guessing a little bit. Never been to this golf course before. And this is a 400 yard par four uh, from the back tees. But it looks very tight out there, so I'm gonna go with a three wood. Hopefully keep it in play. It's such a good drive on number one, but ended up 70 yards in a fairway bunker, which is a very difficult shot to make clean contact on and get your yardage right. So hopefully I can get one in the fairway and let's see what we can do. Okay, so I hit the fairway. So I've got about 141 yards to that green. Looks looks like a pretty good birdie opportunity here. So I just hit a just a nice little wedge. I'll do it with a pitching wedge, not full, just knock it down, keep it in front of the hole. Should give us an uphill putt for birdie, I hope. I had a pretty solid shot. Um, just caught it a little bit too strong. So I've left myself yeah, about should be just inside 25 feet. 30 feet for birdie here. Greens are very nice, very firm. They're rolling pretty good, although I've only got one under my belt. I'm thinking this putt's gonna go a little right to left. More than I think, actually, especially at the hole. We'll give it a, give it a go here, see if we can drop one. Two putt would be good, though. In the heart short. Yeah, so these greens are very pleasant. They are firm. Um, yeah, so I had 141. And pitching wedge is normally 148 for me, roughly. So yeah, I take a little bit off. I did hit a little firm, but it landed pin high and skipped, you know, 25 feet past the hole. So it shows how firm the greens are. So, good 
good putt back there, just, you know, didn't run out. But the greens seem to be rolling really well, so. Wide open, par five. There's some trouble really long and on the right side, um, but it kind of just meanders to the left. And the cart says 615 yards. So that was very well struck for 7.15 in the morning. Should have carried out there beyond 300, I would think. It's nice and high, a little downwind, so might give us a chance to think about it from a long way out. All right, so the guys I was supposed to play with, they're, they're probably not playing slow, but you know, I'm just out here by myself, but I am waiting on them. They're probably 100 yards out. I'm likely going to go with three wood and try to reach. Let's see if we can get a decent yardage here. Yeah, I got 308. I'm not going to get there with three wood unless it's really firm because I'm only going to fly it 270. I'm thinking, so I'd have to land and roll. So we'll have to see. I'll give it a few minutes before I hit. bit of an uphill lie I wasn't expecting um, so I aimed a little right sometimes it tends to go left when you're on an uphill lie balls above my feet um, but it did stay out to the right not bad though um, just kind of skied a little bit of a cut so it only went maybe probably only 255 so got a little wedge in Pins on the right, it looks like. So this is gonna actually be a little bit difficult to get close. Take a quick look. So yeah, I got 78 yards here from the right rough. I'm on this hillside. Can't tell real clear from the video, but it is above my feet, a pretty good amount. Pins on the right and in the back. So I gotta get this still high and get it to land soft. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's kind of what I expected. It didn't hit it too bad. I landed it pin high, but the green is just firm. It ran through the green a little bit. Got a pretty easy, pretty easy little chip. I can actually probably putt this one just back through the fringe. Yeah, I'm on the fringe actually. So. Not bad from where I was at. Just, you know, it's a birdie opportunity. Kind of probably losing just because I was in the rough. Kind of a tough lie, bad angle. Um, should be a pretty easy two cut from there hopefully so let's see what we can do yep it's gonna go left or right for sure but it's gonna come out of this fringe skipping right i think good speed here is most important i want to make sure we can secure the par Perfect speed, just about a foot and a half. Okay, so we got a little par three, pretty short from the back tees. It's only 141 yards. I can't tell the pin, I think the pin is middle or front on that right side, but it's really difficult to tell. Take a little bit off this pitching wedge. And I pull 
little bit. Should be on the green. Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay, so I've got a very long putt. I'd say 45 feet at least down that swale. And it's gonna come up off that little crown. Left to right, looks like. Definitely not the shot I wanted from 141 yards, that's for sure. But, you know, just good speed right here. Get our par and see if we can get out of here with that. Yeah, so disappointing three putt right there. Yeah, just caught the right edge of the hole. Poor strike, I guess, or poor line. Uh, one of them. But yeah, just a score update. I'm I'm plus two, uh, bogeyed one, and just three putt um, there on number four. So here it looks like we have a par four, 436. So long hole, hit driver. Looks pretty open. Looks like a little dog leg left, number five. I think just at that bushy tree out there between the bunkers is probably a good spot. All right, so I did what I wanted right in the middle of the fairway. Got 133 yards. This is definitely a great birdie opportunity here. I think I'm gonna go with a gap wedge, my 52 degree, uh, just full swing. The way these greens are bouncing, it's you're, you're just gonna get more yardage. You know, I'm, I probably hit the gap wedge 125, 28 yards. Um, should probably be more precise than that, I guess, with a gap wedge, as far as how far I know I hit it, but. It's gonna bounce five yards. So I think I'm gonna get that extra yardage and hopefully get a birdie here. Really need to get one back after, uh, you know, kind of two sloppy bogeys. It was a nice swing. I just got a little lazy with it, left it out to the right, but I'm perfectly pin high on the fringe but inside 20 feet really good look for birdie from what it looks like so take a look so yeah this is a wonderful look looks like it's going to be a right to left putt it's kind of a mound on that right side So this is my first video, really making an effort here. But I am being pushed by some old guys. <laughs> you know those old guys that want the first tee time? They're pushing me. And uh, it's all right, it's a good thing. We got just enough time, to play by ourselves, give you some footage, show you a pretty golf course. So this is number six at Valencia. You know, it looks, looks real treacherous around you know, left dog leg is going around, um, you know, a lake, an empty lake, but it's only 255 to clear it, and it's like 350 long through the fairway. So I think that's the play. Just hit driver out over the water, make sure I catch it solid, and it'll cut a lot off this hole. It looks like so. It's a it's a par five. Should do pretty well as long as I hit a solid tee.
So that was absolutely perfect. I was trying to play a little cut just to stay safe. And it, instead it drew about five yards, fairly straight ball, but I just hit it so well and easily cleared the water, ran out over this. Um, let me take a look here. You'll see that I should have a great opportunity to put it on in two for Eagle. Number six at Valencia. You can get over that water as long as you can carry it 270 ish. You can clear that water and really cut a lot off that dog leg and give you a chance to really score on this par five. And so I have 133 yards into this par five. I don't think that was the intention of the course designer. Um, <laughs> but when you can fly it a long way and get yourself over that dog leg, it's kind of like 13 at Augusta before they changed the tee boxes. You know, Bubba did the same thing, had gap wedge in. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I can get this close. Eagle would be great, get us back to even par. Yeah, so this is a wonderful green, really two sections with a big, you know, uh, mound separating the two sides. Pin was all the way over here on the left. I didn't totally ruin my chances, but just pulled that pitching wedge. You know, it's in between again. You saw me hit the gap wedge 130 on the last hole, but this one was 130, a little uphill, a little into the wind. So I tried to chip the pitching wedge. Um, so left myself with, you know, it's just an eagle putt off the edge of the fringe. So let's see if we can get something close at least maybe get it to drop all right lagged it up nicely should tap that in for birdie go to the next one yeah that threesome behind me is really pushing me <laughs> i'm not really making them wait but it's just keeping me from being able to take my time a little more but uh yeah got a birdie on number six so we are at plus one, needed that birdie, even though it was kind of a gimme. So, no, so number seven, par four, looks like it's 420. Looks like it, this dog leg's right just a little. On the left there, you see some palmetto bushes. That's 300 out, so I think we're good with driver. Just run it out to the middle, try to cut it off away from those palmettos if possible. Couldn't be any more perfect right here. All right, perfect. So I got 104. So it was a really nice tee shot, probably 315 yards with a little cut, it was just wonderful. Um, I don't know if I would hit driver here again on number seven. The water's right there. I think, you know, that, if you're playing the backs, you know, those palmettos there, I got past them. And a good three wood would keep you short of those. And also there's more palmetto trees on the right, uh, if that's what they are, I'm not sure. I'm not a native to Florida, so. Um, so it might be a good idea to hit three wood or something short of that, leave yourself a little longer in. But I do have a birdie opportunity. See if we can get two in a row. Oh, did not take advantage there. I just went after that too much. Should have kept it in front of the hole. Instead, I just went after a 58 degree. Didn't really need that much. It's a little downhill, pins in the front. I should have let something skip up there, keep it in front of the hole, but 
And I think I'm on the fringe again. Just a really difficult putt, you'll see in a moment. Yeah, so the pin's, you know, 25 feet onto the front, right at the crest of a slope. And I landed at the top of that slope with my wedge and it ran down here. So I got oh, 40 feet or so. Got to go through a little bit of fringe up that slope and see if I can get something in tap in range. Oh, almost got hit by the ranger. He just, old fella, driving, looking at his tee sheet, checking the course, and um, didn't look in front of him. <laughs> well, definitely thankful I made that putt. I hit it right on line uh, on the last hole, but I did leave it about five feet short up that slope. So um, it was a little tickler back down the hill. Did make par, which is always good. Nothing uh, could be more disappointing sometimes than making a birdie and then just giving it away on the next hole. So, looks like we got a short par four. Let's take a look at it. Oh, I was amusing myself a little bit. So, yeah, looks like a short par four. Uh, unfortunately, it's a long par three. And you'll <laughs> get those surprises on these uh, back tees sometimes. So this is 231 yards, par three. And pretty big green, pins on the left. Really pretty hole, it's over top of a bunker down there. Zoom in a little for you. So I think the play here is a, a, a three iron. I'll take some yardages, I might go with four, just carry it over that bunker, because it's probably only a 2 oh, probably 210 carry over that bunker. And that's all we need, because it's gonna run out. All right, so I was in between. It was 220 to carry that bunker. I would have had to hit the four iron really nice and solid. And I just figure it's probably better to go beyond it. Try to hit a high cut three iron. I just hit a wonderful shot, but I mean, it. I think it landed in the middle of the green and I'm sure it did not hold the green. I think I see it on the back fringe. We're gonna be living on fringes today, but all in all, from 230 yards, you know, it's, you gotta be happy with anything on or very close to the green. Yeah, so not quite, not quite sure what they're thinking here, tucking a bunker, or I'm sorry, tucking the pin over this bunker. I mean, it's a pretty severe knob, 230 yards. I mean, you really got no chance. So this is where my ball pitched, just short of pin high. So it was a wonderful three iron, flew it pretty much 230. Uh, but it did stay on right here on the back, so let's give it a shot. See if we can snuggle this up close. Make a good par. Yeah, probably should have taken some relief on that. I was snuggled up against the fringe, which, you know, you gotta play it as it lies there, but I was on a, like an edging mark. I was kind of resting down in an edging mark, bordering the uh, fringe in green. Yeah, it just probably should have, but just did not uh, get that ball started on line right, so it kept breaking away from the hole and 
did not make that little five footer coming back for par. So another three putt. Okay, so this is number nine. It's looks kind of tight. There's a bunker that looks very well placed out there, about 280 yards. So hopefully I can miss that, play a little cut, skirt around that and have a wedge in. It's 420 yard par four. Okay, first sort of poor drive of the day. Little left, I wasn't sure what was over here, but I did cover the hazard, which was good. So I got 171. Um, this hole was 443. So pin looks right in the middle over that bunker up there. Let's see if we can get something up there in birdie range. All right, so pin sort of back. I did not hit a good iron shot there. Felt like I needed to get after it. Just put too much into it. And we ended up left, pin high. Certainly doable. Don't have a ton of green to work with, but... But just land something a little bit higher and softer and should be able to make our par. It is amazing how quick those old fellas can play in the morning. I think I just made the turn in an hour and 20 minutes and was pushed <laughs> by a threesome of old men. So, all right. Yeah, I missed that putt as you saw. Um, I hit a good one too, but it was really because of a poor iron shot and left myself a touchy um, pitch shot that I had to sort of flop and left it underneath the hole about 12 feet. Uh, I missed the putt. so. Three over on that side, 39. It's not, uh, not great, but, you know, I can't expect too much. Never seen this course before. Um, so we're on number 10. Let's take a look at it. So number 10, 450-yard par 4. It looks, you know, pretty tight out there. But on the right, that probably opens up a little bit, I would imagine. But this, you know, got to hit driver here. Um, leave ourselves a good well I guess I could go with three wood I think I will I'll go with three wood leave myself a longer or mid iron in that would be a probably smarter play Well, that was my first real miss of the day. I really caught that three wood fin on the verge of, uh, on the verge of topping. Um, unfortunately, it did not run down the fairway. Otherwise, it still would have ran out a long way. So I'm gonna have a long way in on this par four. May not even be able to, to get there with three iron. So let's take a look. Okay. All right, so we got 231. So, yeah, three iron will be a good number here. You know, it can erase a bad shot by just hitting one good iron shot. Very accessible pin, front left. Let's see if we can get it on there. Well, I was hoping that threesome was just playing nine holes this morning, but it doesn't look like it. Might have to speed golf this next hole. 
hit a wonderful three iron, just just drew off the green. Um, pretty short little chip shot, but it looks like I don't have much green to work with and it runs away from me. So take a look, hopefully we can get up and down for par and avoid a third straight bogey. All right, notice that I had the putt. I was just, the lie was way too tight, too downhill. I would have never been able to chip that and expect it to come out of there appropriately. I, if I'm gonna chip and land it through the green, I might as well putt it so it's you know, a little touchy on the speed, uh, get it up there and give me a chance. It was a nice one and was able to save par, thank goodness. All right, so 11 appears to be a pretty short par four. They actually have the back tees up from the very tip. So it's probably playing really short. Don't think I need driver here, although I'm hitting it pretty well. So the hole's only playing 350. Um, I'm gonna go with a three iron, keep it in play. Should get myself still a wedge in, so give it a shot. All right, not the greatest strike in the world. I got 128 yards though from the left rough and that pin appears to be tucked over that bunker. I'm gonna go with gap wedge, even though it's into the wind. Gotta hit something hard, get over that sand and give ourselves a birdie opportunity. The pitching wedge hasn't gone well in this, this range. So let's give it a shot. Well, I switched to the pitching wedge. Um, I ended up dropping my grip into the wet ground and it's like, eh, probably the better club. Smooth it, see if I can't get something to stop on the green before it rolls off. I hit a wonderful shot, so um, can't really tell where it's at just because it's a little uphill over that bunker, so we'll see. Oh yes, very thankful for this one. Reassuring to know I can get that pitching wedge to stop even coming in. Uh, between clubs taking that much off of it so yeah pitched right there probably four feet from the cup and have a little six and a half seven foot let's see if we can make bird here all right so we got one back much needed birdie there and just as a lesson i was not quite sure what that putt was going to do and so i just made sure that whatever i chose i committed to it and uh and it worked out so i wasn't sure if it was going to go right or left honestly i thought it was fairly straight but all the break I knew was at the end of the hole. So I played it just uh, on the right edge, downhill, and just committed to it that it would break in at that slow speed, and it did. So got one back. Okay, so number 12 is par three. I got 180 yards, and the pin is just on the right over that bunker. And it looks like I got some green to work with. 180, I'm gonna go with a seven. Back into the wind a little, but I think it's gonna bounce back there at worst. So I'll give it a shot. Still 
ball. Get back there. Ooh, looking good. Yeah, just a, just a really good swing there. I, I could have caught it a little more solid. Might have been a touch low on the face, but just a nice little soft draw into that pin. And it looks really close. Getting up there to it now. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Yes. Definitely not a gimme. So we got to go there and knock that in. All right, so it looks like we pitched about about eight feet in front of the hole and then broke to the right down towards it. Just another foot and a half and that's in. That's all we really got left. Maybe two feet at the most. So let's just knock it in. Birdies are good. So that's two in a row. Thank goodness. All right. So we're chipping away. I think we're plus one now. So I think we have a short par four here. Give you a take. Give you a look at this. 386. So waiting on the guys in front of me. Um, probably just go with a three iron, I guess, here. Just keep it in play. It looks pretty tight. Let's take a look. Yeah, so short par four. I mean, it's not tight, but for me... There's trouble on both sides. Got to uh, just got to hit a good shot, you know. Just hit something solid. Keep it in play. No reason to go after this one. The three iron may have failed me. Missed it right. So hopefully I stayed out of the palmettos up there. Ah, tough. I always go left with that club, if anything. But as soon as I give it a little extra in case, I tend to lose it right. <laughs> so let's see. So there I sit. Very sad. Um, Might pitch it back out to the fairway. I do have a swing sideways, but... I think I'll probably just do, yeah, I'll probably just take an unplayable, get it out of there, take a penalty, and hopefully can make make par with a solid, you know, wedge shot from here. Oh, hit that really, really nice right at the flag, but I guess there's just more, more wind than I thought. Um, I mean, I only had 135 yards and just tried to take some off a wedge. Just did not quite get there, so I'm putting up off the fringe for par after my penalty shot. All right, so gave one back there after a couple of birdies. It's kind of disappointing, but you hit it out of play. You really just need to make sure you don't make two mistakes. So escaped with uh, with the bogey. Just need to uh, kind of right the ship here. Should be getting a par five soon, I would imagine. Now we got we got a little bit of a, a greenskeeper foo bar here. So yeah, those. Uh, T markers are kind of going in this direction, straight down the uh, T box, which the hole is over there. <laughs> That's no bueno. Okay, so yeah, I fixed the T markers. We do have a par five. Um, it's short, it's less than 500 yards, but problem is it's just got a lot of stuff in the landing area. So we got that bunker's 290. It does look open 
over everything to the left, but I'm gonna have to hit it solid. I mean, the goal here is just hit a good tee shot so we can maybe get it on in two. Let's see what happens. I could be, I could be in some trouble. Yeah, afraid I'm gonna be in some trouble. Yeah, I just went, it wasn't a bad swing, just once again trying to, trying to play a little cut and uh, put a little draw on it instead. So I'm definitely in kind of a waste area over here not gonna probably have a chance to put it on that's for sure have to probably pitch out and got to find it first all right so um i don't see my ball oh there's my ball thought i made it So I am not sure what's happened, but I think I, there's a new twosome in front of me and they're going severely slow. Caught them. The guys behind me were mean mugging me because I wasn't hitting from 189 yards for my second shot on that par five and they wanted to tee off and it gets ugly out here, especially with the uh, members, I'm sure, coming out here early to play. So back to the golf, uh, I was able to, my ball was in an environmentally safe area. So I need to double check the uh, local rule to see if that's a free drop or if that's a penalty because it's unmarked um, other than that. So um, it's either a par or birdie. I had uh, 189 yards, hit six iron, uh, went through the green um, from out of the rough. And I was able to two putt out of the fringe as you saw back there. So now we are on number 15. It's a par four, 433. Looks wide open. Moving to the right. Let's take a look. Hey, you can see the group out there. I got to wait on them. But I think it's moving to the right around those uh, little palms and palmettos. Hopefully we can hit a good drive and make birdie. All right, hit a wonderful shot. Um, oh, choked on my coffee. So I should be in the middle of the fairway. Take a look. Shouldn't be more than a wedge in, I would imagine. So yeah, it appears it's uh, two ladies in front of me that they weren't there before. So they took off on the back nine in front of me. I mean, they really should let me through. They're still not on the green even after waiting that long, so. Hopefully they do, we'll see. But I got 137 yards right in the middle of the fairway. Probably gonna have to hit the pitching wedge, take a little off again. I've had that shot a lot today, so hopefully you can hit it close. All right, so there's my shot. There is water left. I just happened to hit a really nice one. It looks like that water's really not reachable off the tee unless you crush it left. Um, but pretty inviting green, not much uh, in the way there, so. Put another really nice one with the pitching wedge. Uh, looks like probably no more than eight feet. So let's take a look, get one back. Oh yeah, pin high, just absolutely perfect. Hopefully can roll this birdie in. I think this might 
get us back to even par after the last hole. Still got to check on the rules for that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, the two ladies did look back, but did not wave me through. I'm not sure why, but maybe they'll speed up a little bit. Hopefully so. They just speed up a little, we'll be okay. Okay, so we have a par five, um, pretty straight away. Just some bunkers out to the right. Looks like there's some houses left. I just gotta see what the yardages are on those and then make sure that keep this in play give ourselves a chance for a birdie. So I've hit a poor drive, but I think I'm still in play over here. Just gotta find it first. Okay. Found my ball. <laughs> but those uh, folks behind me are really pushing me. And I'm still waiting anyway, so just didn't want to get to videoing and setting folks so anyway i just had to i had to hit a seven iron back in play because i didn't know what was up here and i hit a good shot i think i almost crawled into this bunker though let's take a take a quick look pins in the front so got to allow for it to bounce Run, maybe. Oh, okay, so very poor shot from 79 yards, uh, but I am only 30 feet or so. Just got a lot of fringe to, to putt through, so speed is very important here. Got to make sure I get the par at least. Good for speed. Very nice. To tap in range. Okay, they let me through. This is 247 yard par three. My goodness. Let's see what we can do. Well, I couldn't get you much footage there. Uh, ladies let me through so I was trying to play quick through them um, yeah so that was a 247 yard par 3 and I, I hit I hit it left it's a it's a pretty inviting green but I hit it left had to hit a flop shot over a bunker executed it okay but it really ran away from the hole and so I had to I two putted from about 18 feet for uh, my bogey so all right, which hole are we on now? Let's take a look. Okay, so we're actually on number 18. Got here before I realized. Um, yeah, this looks like a nice little finishing hole. It's 400 yards from these back tees. It's a much easier hole, obviously, from those tees up there. It's a short 330, I think. But, you know, you got to hit it over this water, which really isn't in play uh, from back here. Um, that bonker's probably in play with driver uh just turns to the left a little looks like probably driving range on the right so i'm just gonna hit three wood just make sure i stay short of that bunker and hopefully we can finish with a birdie oh no Okay, so got rushed again. 
the ladies happened to finish the hole quick and they came up on the tee as I was getting set up and anyway long story let's hit a shot here got to get up and down for par I hit it right into the mulch uh hit an iron just off the green so let's take a look So it's a little too bad. Did not get up and down for par. So a bogey, bogey finish. Solid round of golf. Made some birdies. Um, just never, never fun to uh, finish poorly. So let's add them up and see what we got. So last two holes were a bit rushed. I probably should have just stayed behind the two women. I kind of lost side of which hole I was on and how much time was left so bogey bogey finish I'm still not clear on the environmentally safe area um, I will take a penalty so it'll be a two putt from the fringe for par on that hole uh, so I guess that uh, ends up being a 75 which from the back tees I mean I've play is a two to three handicap um, that uh, definitely better than my handicap and it good though my last three rounds have been 74 73 75 at new courses down here in Naples Florida so um, there'll be more hopefully uh, good rounds and good videos for all you to see all right so in the end there's our scorecard so it looks like we had uh, a, a bogey on one and four Four, birdie on six, uh, but a couple of bogeys close in there, eight and nine. Uh, and then uh, back nine, three birdies, which was great, but bogeys on 13, 17, and 18. So, uh, yeah, again, 75. I'm happy with the score, but I definitely played better than that. Just did not chip well. Uh, and then, you know, I closed both, both uh, nines out with bogey bogey. You know, so there's my round right there. A couple of three putts, but I also made a couple of putts for birdie. So I uh, got to be happy with that.